Welcome to Cadiz, the oldest inhabited town in the Western world, with over 3,000 years of history. The town is easily accessible by foot and we're going to take a look. In the Plaza de España is La Cortes Monument. It was built in 1929 and is commemorative of the 1812 Constitution. Wind your way down the narrow alleyways with the Moorish style houses with their flower deck balconies and you'll find the flower market. The fridge magnets are about two euros so Cadiz is not expensive. Just past the flower market you'll find the central market and there's no escaping the fact that Cadiz sits between fertile land with the beautiful vegetables and the sea. Cadiz is situated on a narrow piece of land. Leaving the market and walking towards the sea on the other side, you'll find the cathedral. Construction on the cathedral began in 1772 Baroque style and it was finished in the 19th century neoclassical style. It has the third most important treasury in Spain. You'll need a ticket to go in and for the tower and the museum and it stands in this lovely bustling square. Opposite the cathedral is the former cathedral, the 13th century church of Santa Cruz, which was destroyed by the English Armada. If churches are your thing, you will love this square. There are three beautiful churches here. The Santiago Apostle Church was built in the 17th century and belonged to the Jesuit College. It has designs by Alonso Romero and holds notable altarpieces and sculptures from the 17th and 18th centuries. Next to the cathedral is the back of the Roman theatre. And it all sits on land which is supposedly originally an old Islamic settlement and castle. The Roman theatre is visible from the coastal road, but you'll find the entrance down a side street through the Los Blanco Arch, and this is the entrance to the theatre. Standing in the area where the grounds of the old castle used to be is the Roman theatre. This is one of the largest examples of Roman theatres in the Iberian Peninsula and admission is free. As you come out of the theatre you'll find the museum store which is for the Roman theatre. The puppet museum is easy to find, it's just by the city wall. This is all the work of the genius Francisco Peralta. Entrance to this museum is free and it's well worth a visit. The map can appear a little confusing, but the 18th century Tavira Tower is actually only a stone's throw away from the market. Tavira Tower is part of the palace of the Marquis of Recano. It's situated at the highest point of the old town and is one of the 100 watchtowers in Cadiz. Nothing in Cadiz is very far, even though it looks on the map, it might be because they want you to get the bus. But the castle is just a stone's throw away from the town and we're going to take a walk out there. La Caleta Beach is next to the old quarter and is a beautiful setting. It's a fantastic walk along the causeway with the sea crashing in on both sides and the fishermen bringing in their catch. But sadly, San Sebastian's castle has been closed for some time. At the other end of La Caleta Beach is Santa Barbara Castle. You could just come here and chill and spend the day on the beach, or you could use it as a gateway town to Seville and Jerez. Whatever you do, enjoy and have a look on Doris visits for all our trips. If you're walking from the ship along the seafront towards the castle, you'll come across these beautiful botanical gardens with play areas for the children. 